And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Cole Irvin. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss. Get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. And a big swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And there's a ball. It's a good take. And the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Batting second. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Michael Bush, the next Cub to hit. The 1-1. And a swing and a miss there. Snap throw to first. Corner back easily. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. And a swing and a miss. One down. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Step off throw to first. Corner back in standing. Bellinger's dad won a couple of World Series rings in 1999 and 2000. Clay was a backup infielder with the New York Yankees. Bellinger up to hit. Late on that fastball. In the 2023 season, Cody's dad, Clay, made a trip to Wrigley Field and sat in the right field bleachers to watch his son play. That's kind of cool. And another ball. Man at first, one away. That one inside. Counts full, three and two. And a pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. And that's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. So first and second with one man gone. Seiya Suzuki getting ready to hit. Next offering is down low. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam.
That one misses, and that's ball three. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. One runs in. Bellinger on his way home. In to score from first. And they lead by two. And he's there at third with a triple. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. One down, in half, up to hit. The one-two. And a curve misses outside. Kicks and fires. Great That's ball. off the mark. Three and two now. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. It's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. And a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Swings and misses, struck him out. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So digging in, Christopher Morell. And that one missing low. Two outs and a runner at third. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Next offering misses. And now three and one. Two outs. And that one fouled off. guy's seen two change-ups in a row would be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here the pitch foul ball and it remains a full count payoff pitch goes down looking but they pick up a pair here both coming on this two-run triple and it's two zip you're watching major league baseball on the show Now at Oriole Park, pitching for the Cubs in this one, Kyle Hendricks. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. The wind of the pitch. No. Just missed. 
Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Hard hit, left side. Over to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. And perhaps part of the game plan is to get into the bullpen as early as possible. They're facing a staff that's blown a lot of games in the later innings. Boog and his hitters, you're aware of that, but you don't want to become too relaxed and wait too late in the ball game because you never know what could happen on any given day. But with that said, even if you fall behind early, you've got a lot of confidence that this game will not be over until that final out. In time to Bush here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Two out spaces empty. pitch on the ground to the oh. left and that's just foul that's a hit so a two out knock keeps the inning alive nice line drive to the pull side met it out front but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield Two outs, runner at first. Anthony Santander at the plate. Mountcastle off of first with two away. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. To first, that's out number three. And the Orioles leave one, and they're down 2 nothing. And we're back. Second inning, set to go. So up now for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, College World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. One and two. And a pitch. Good oh, eye on that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two, two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So up next, Miles Mastroboni. At the belt and fires. Run around the move. Pitch in for a strike, and that's a stolen base, not even close. Left hand hitter waits. Gets under and pops it up on his way over. He's got it, and there's one down. Tomas Nito with the plate. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Runner at second here, one gone. Just missed. 
Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. And now the lefty. And ball That's four to a board. The bat. The second base. Nico. So the batting order turns over. Nico Horner, the next cup to hit. Runners at first and second with one gone here at the top of the second. Fought off foul. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now the number two hitter, Michael Bush. Here comes a pitch. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. They get the force. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Cubs strand a couple. They're up 2 nothing. Bottom of the inning, here's the third baseman, Jordan Westberg. The third baseman. That misses the zone, two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. On the ground. Fires to first on the run. He's on there. target. He got him. Nice play. Just an outstanding play going up the middle right there. And the exchange to get the throw off to first. Just shows you why he's one of the best shortstops around. So smooth, yet so quick at the same time. And any slower, and those wheels burning down the first baseline are going to turn that into an infield hit. And now it's Austin Hayes. One out, base is empty. That one the other way. Suzuki hauls it in for the out. Two away down. Batting seven. The center fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Colton Kowser now at the plate. And that one a little below the knees. Ball two. Bounce to the right side. Tosses to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Orioles held in check there. They trail things here, 2-0. New inning getting started. So up now for Chicago, Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger. Good eye right there. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Man at first, Seiya Suzuki, the next cub to hit. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. The one two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Brady textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And here it comes. 
Bellinger goes. Swing and a miss. Low throw, and he can't take it out. One out and a runner at second. Missed with a changeup. Two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And downstairs. Fights it off, you'll see another. see another payoff pitch ninth pitch of the at bat due next fouled off again and it remains three and two and a pitch on the ground right side and it goes just foul And down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Next is the designated hitter, Christopher Morell. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. Cubs leave one as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. As we go to the last of the third and into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Ball to strike. The pitch. Out towards left center. Sizing this one up. Pulls it in, and there's one away. James McCann in now. The 1 1. Oh! 2 and 1. And strike two. The Cubbies up by two here in the last half of the third. Bounce to the left side. In time to Bush. And there's two down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. So the lineup flips over. So next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. Clobber to right field. Way back. scoreboard it's 2-1 that's a great way to fire up this crowd they're feeling it now just an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention got a pitch to drive short to the baseball squared it up and the backspin carried it out of here
So two away with nobody on. Here's Adley Rutschman. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Rip to third. In time to Bush. And that is that. The Orioles get one back on the solo blast. And the home team down a run. Welcome back, and now on the mound to start the fourth, number 49. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. Dansby Swanson, the next Cub to hit. The shortstop, Dansby Swanson. And another ball. Right through there for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Three and two now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. He's got to throw any pitch in any count. Three, two, he goes off speed, gets the out. And next for the Cubs, Miles Mastroboni. Right-handed reliever. That catches the zone for a strike, and it's one and two. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. And I'm so glad I'm retired. That misses off the outside edge. Into center. Kowser under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. Bottom four. And into the box for Baltimore. Ryan Mountcastle. The first baseman. Just no, off the outside the edge. And that's ball three. Right hander kicks deals. Good oh, plate oh, appearance baby. there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. One and two here. And another ball for to lay off that pitch down. Nobody out. Runner at first. Wouldn't chase that time. Jordan Westberg in the on deck circle. Right into the plate. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout.
Now the third baseman, Jordan Westberg. Side edge. And the count is two and two. The Cubs leading by a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. On the ground, right side. Four, six, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam and they end the inning. Welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Nico Horner. Take it high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Action in the pen down there. Dylan Tate getting ready to go. Perez, the lefty, warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. And he deals. Line drive to short and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That one ripped. Santander going back. And it's off the top of the wall. Now around second, going for third. The relay, he's in there. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. So one gone with a runner at third. Here comes Cody Bellinger. Up the middle, Mateo tosses to first. Now two away as they get a run across. So important to really lock in on an at-bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Seiya Suzuki. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Still two and two after the foul ball. That one down the line and foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the three, and the Orioles won. Back here in Baltimore, now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Here's a 1-1. And that one in the air center field. Bellinger coming on. He makes the grab. And there's one away. Now that center fielder. Colton, Colton Kowser, the next to hit for the Orioles. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hit hard on the ground to short. Swanson yeah. fires yeah. over to first. He's out. The batter, number three, second baseman, Jorge Mateo. Jorge Mateo now. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. And now two balls and a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Justin Steele up and throwing. Number 43 getting cranked up as well. In the air, left field. Hap heads towards it. He's got it, and the inning is over. Back now at Oriole Park, top of the sixth inning. So up now for Chicago, Ian Hap. 1-1 one, one now. There's a swing and a miss. Filthy change up right there. Just pulled the string. That's off the mark. Yeah, that's ball two. And another ball. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! A massive home run, and they add on. It's 4-1. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. But why to kick the pitch? Ball two. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That one missed. Chris, you played here in 2002. What are the memories that stand out as to being a member of the Baltimore Orioles? You, For me, it was just pulling into the parking lot and having those that were there with a, an encouraging smile or a pat on the back, regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. And then the way that they treated your family. I mean, this is a great place to play. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. And you had a cameo in the movie Moneyball as an Orioles player in a highlight clip. Three and two. That one in 95 missed up top. And now three and two. Got it. And that's the first out. And up next for Chicago, Miles Mastroboni. That misses two and one. And the righty deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Morell, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And another ball. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Left-hand batter waits. 
foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And he walked him. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Tomas Nito, the next cup to hit. The bottom of the order here, boo. You got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. And a pitch. Outside corner, there's a strike. The Cubbies trying to break this one open. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Hit on the ground to the right side. It's through for a hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in. But it's offline. And they lead by four. Well done. Drives in the run. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play and just hope it finds a hole. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Dylan Tate. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Nico Horner. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Two on, one out. Pitch the misses ball. there. It's two and two. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. Lifts to second. That's one. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Cubs five and the Orioles one. Well, we go bottom six. Here is James McCann. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Activity in the bullpen. Justin Steele appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. The pitch. That's a little bit low. This one in the air right field. Suzuki running hard for it. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one down. Here comes Craig Council, and we're going to see a pitching change. Kyle Hendricks will depart, and he was a tough nut to crack. Pretty stingy from start to finish. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Justin Steele. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with a lefty at the plate. Gunnar Henderson will hit next. The Cubs leading by four here in the bottom of the sixth. Liner snagged it first. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Here's Adley Rutschman singing. The Orioles gave him the largest signing bonus ever. 
more than eight million dollars and you can see why this guy just oozes with talent yeah boog and if it wasn't for a strained triceps injury i believe adley would have been on the orioles opening day roster in 2022 the moment he was healthy enough the orioles called him up and the rest is history pitch in the dirt the count now two and two Just off the outside part of the plate. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two down, nobody on. Headed down the line. And it's off the wall, but foul. He goes down looking. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down here, five to one. And we're back, all set for the start of the inning. So up now for Chicago, Michael Bush. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty delivers. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop from his backside. Nicely done for the out. What an acrobatic play right there. Knocks it down, throws from the seat of his pants, and just looks like he's playing in the backyard. He makes it look really easy. One down. There comes Cody Bellinger. Here's a 1-1. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Fouls it off, still one and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Another one, two. Stays alive. And that skips in the dirt. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So he ends up with a hit after seeing a lot of pitches. That was a good at-bat. Nice at-bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And the throws offline, safe at third. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knot. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Runners are at the corners, one away. Inside almost got him. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. You got to look for something up in the zone. At worst case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. Rips one to right. Santander makes the grab. Runner tags for home. He's in to score on the sack fly. It's 6 1. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. Suzuki, the runner at first with two gone. Oh. 
comes up empty. That's strike two. Now well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific ball. bite at the end. Good and hit. another ball. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Cubs six, and the Orioles one. Bottom of the seventh, Leading and off. now here is Ryan Mountcastle. The first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss, and a changeup in the dirt. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Now batting, right fielder. Anthony Santander, the next to hit for the Orioles. Upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Next offering in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. The Cubbies leading by five. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! He sends one out the opposite way, his 22nd homer of the year, and they cut into the deficit. It's 6-2. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. So digging in, Jordan Westberg. Oh. And another ball. One down, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. That's to third. Mastroboni. Fires across the diamond. That's it out. It's a good recovery, though, after now giving back. up the home Let's run. Be. Not allowing oh, it to stay in the head, but going hey. to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Two outs, space is empty. Now here is Austin Hayes. Two outs. Whew. That misses. Two and two. And look out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Here's the center fielder, Colton Kowser. Wouldn't chase that time. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count's full. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. This one in the air. Swanson makes the catch. And that's the third out. Solo homer brings in one for Baltimore. It's now 6-2.
Welcome now, back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Brian 15. Baker. He Boy. pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Dansby Swanson stands in. You talk about elite defensive Dansby players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Boots it. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Now batting the third baseman, Miles Mastroboni. And next for the Cubs, Miles Mastroboni. Gets the call, and that is strike two. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Keegan Aiken is up and throwing for Brandon High. Perez also getting ready. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still a one and two count. Popped up. Mateo makes the grab and there's two gone. Hey man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Now the Cubs catcher, Tomas Nito. The pitch. Going to count one and two. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. That's a base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Nico Horner, the next Cub to hit. And one and two. Two outs. And a good eye there. Two and two. Nito off of first with two away. Slow ground ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for the Cubs. They lead it 6-2. to two. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Colton Brewer. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So digging in, Leading Jorge off. Mateo. The Orioles the in striking base. distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. You got to get on your horse and get to that ball and get it back in because he's going to come barreling around first and put some pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, it's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. So, man aboard. Here's the catcher, James McCann. Kicks and fires. And another ball. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And here it comes. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The Orioles down by four. Here are the bottom half of the eighth inning. This ball's chopped on the ground. Horner gets it to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. The batter, number two, shortstop, Younger. 